previously on Dragon Quest Builders. As you can see, it's looking more like a castle now, and I have like a little beach area in here. I want it, you know, to have a little beach. I thought it'd be cool. Life is a beach. <laughs> I went out of tune there. <laughs> I like this. I like this song. It's time to die, monsters. With my Sword of King's weapon, you will not have a chance. Here we go. Ha! Huh. I would forget my brain if it wasn't in my head. I like it when it's like... <laughs> I'm in a weird mood today, aren't I? Where are the hammer hoods today? They don't come out at night, do they? <laughs> They're hibernating. Hello uh, and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. I haven't done much on the base, which is why we are starting right here, right next to my navi globe, because I've been exploring a little bit and I've plonked down my navi globes down in like, I think there was like two different places that I found that I really want to explore. So this is the first one and it's by one of these giant slimes and I have been absolutely dying to do this. I just want to know if this changes colour. Do you think it does? Ah oh, man, I was kind of hoping that it would turn like bright blue or something, like a proper slime, but it just turns into dirt blocks. <laughs> There's kind of a shame, but never mind. At the top of this slime, there is another little slime on top of the slime. A small slime on top of a big slime. A slime on top of a slime. Alright, let's climb up here, if I can. I'm stuck by the navi globe. Let me just take it. I'll just take the navi globe. Alright, let's climb up and see what this little slime does. It's obviously some kind of quest. It would be cool if we could get him to join our village as well, but I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Let's see, we already kind of have a monster villager. I'm not sure if it will let us have two. Slurp. Hello, human. Have you come up here to see the view too? No, I came up here to talk to you. <laughs> Apparently, this world used to be really pretty, but it's not anymore. Ah, it sucks, doesn't it? I know. I've never seen anything pretty before. Have you, human? Why oh, he wants to know what pretty means. Have I got a flower on me? Oh, I didn't know I had to get a flower. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll come back to this guy, because I doubt he takes the normal flowers, right? Because, like, I've got a pink one. Do you think he'll accept a pink one? I've got a spade, right? I'm pretty sure I've got a spade. I have got a spade. I have got a spade. Let's put the spade on. Let's put this flower down. And let's see. I'm not sure if he'll accept this, but it's, like, the only thing I have. Do you think he will? Nah, it has to be a white one. He's so picky. He is like the most pickiest slime ever. Right, whatever. Let's go over to our other nabby globe. Like, quickly, just in case, plonk that back down because you never know. I'm going to plonk that there. But there was another thing that I saw over this way. It was like some kind of weird sanctuary thing. I'm not sure if this is what... Like, somebody told me about there being cursed weapons. And I think it might be over here. But I'm not sure if this is exactly the same place i have no idea i just found it and i was just like oh i wonder what this is i'll do that one on camera so i plonked my little navi globe down like i usually do and i'm really excited to explore it and see what happens we're doing a little bit of like side tracking today we're not really doing main story we're doing a little bit of side tracking today but that is all good because i would like this experience of dragon quest builders to last forever <laughs> But unfortunately, it won't. It won't last forever, unfortunately. But I can still do some building and stuff. But yeah, so here we go in here. And there's a signpost and it says Tantigal Sanctuary. So I wonder what's down here. It looks exciting. It's like, oh, it's like caves. It reminds me of caves. And there's loads of sciences here, which is really cool. So I know that I can come in here to get some more sciences. Oh, that does not look suspicious. Not one bit. Let's break through and see. There's a little secret passageway. I like little secret passageways. And there is a obviously not suspicious block here. That's not suspicious. What? Why? I can't break it. I thought it was a monster. These aren't monsters. Wait, that's a bit weird. Okay. And there's a chest through there. There's a locked door here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Can I just break it? No, you can't break it. Wishful thinking. Look at that. There's like loads of like little chests and <gasps> I want to go in there. I want to go in. I want to go inside these little areas. Why can't I go? All right, let's kill this. I don't know why I'm using this. I should be using the Sword of Kings. I don't even know why I have other swords equipped, to be honest, at all. Because I shouldn't really have any equips because I don't really need anything other than the Sword of Kings anymore. But, you know, I'm just a bit strange. Okay, let's keep going around here. 
because I think there must be some kind of little pathway. There must be something we can do in here. We obviously need some kind of key. Maybe that's unlocked in the story or something. Oh, it looks like we've got some skeletons. Is this a boss skeleton? Oh, he's a little bit trickier than the other skeletons. But, oh, ah, he dropped a key. Right, so maybe we can do it. Maybe we can do it now. Is this unlock the key? Ah, unlock key. Nice. Okay, open. Okay, we've got some kind of monster here. I wonder if these are the cursed weapons. I'm not sure if I want to use them. Like, I have no idea what they even do. I think I heard that once you equip them, you can't unequip them or something. But I'm not entirely sure what is going on with these things. Let's open it. Let's see. Yes, Thanatus Shield. Let's see, this is got to be the cursed stuff. It definitely looks like a cursed thing. An abominable Aegis adorns with a horned skull. Defense plus 16, it admits an omnius aura. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you think I should equip the cursed equipment. It's actually the exact same defense as the hero's shield. I'm just a little bit wary, that's all. I'm not sure if I should do it or not. I'm just like a little bit suspicious. I'm like, hmm, is it worth the risk? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Like, it could be fun, because it maybe is like, I don't know, maybe it makes the game more difficult, so that could be fun in its own way. But at the same time, it's like, I don't want it to be too hard, because I do want to complete this game. <laughs> I don't really want to get stuck. I don't think I would get stuck. I'm just waffling on. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> don't mind me. I just, you know, I talk for Britain. I talk a lot. So how do we get through... I don't know how to get through there. We need to find some more keys. Maybe we have to destroy some more skeletons. Oi, come here. Come here. I wonder if I can, like, lure him over. Chuck something at his head or something. Make him come over. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. But, I don't know, I saw another skeleton up here, so maybe these skeletons, like, drop keys or something, I don't really know. No, there's got to be some other bosses that drop keys. Hang on, something beeped. Ah! Ah! This might drop one. Hey, you skeleton, he's got, like, a little crack on his head, I never noticed that before. Ah, there we go, we got another key, awesome. So, I guess we just, like, keep looking around for these boss-type creatures and just kill them for their keys i'm really intrigued to go through there was a door down this way yes i think it was down this way and there was a red door and i'm so intrigued to go through here let's go through here looks like a fancy door looks like there could be something special behind it let's go hello anybody home another door another locked door oh great this whole place is just like one big maze of locked doors and monsters oh look at all the graves in there oh dudes that's a bit creepy that is creepy okay we've got another monster here to kill should be easy die monster die monster wonder why all the monsters have clothes almost all the monsters have clothes right like some of them have armor and then others just have like pieces of clothing it's really odd really look at all the graves around here have you been killing people skeleton have you been munching on their bones two keys now two keys so we've got two doors to open two doors to go i got a door here so let's open this one here we go open sesame yeah okay i'd say that it doesn't really help that this place is like a maze i have no idea where i'm going or what i'm doing what is this like what the hell is the point of this oh oh look at that a little secret little thing oh that's awesome oh what have i found here <gasps> oh look a little well random little well and we got some like little fences and stuff yes i was actually i want some fences actually this could be a really cool on my roof like like a little deck area or something up on the roof i have like started building on the roof but i've not done much because i was going to do some like little towers up there oh look straw and some other goodies nice i'm liking this some tables i will take those i want like the straw i don't think i've had straw yet and i don't think i can build it either 
So this is a nice little surprise. We're getting some nice little different materials here. I know like we've seen these already in the story and everything, but I don't think I could actually build these yet. What was that like electric that just went off? Is that like some kind of trap? I don't know, that was a bit weird. I'm pretty sure I just saw some electric, unless my eyes are playing tricks on me. Could be the case. I don't trust my eyes. <laughs> oh look, look more stuff. Oh nice, sink. A bath and some bookshelves. This is really cool. This is like, ah, oh, this is like I've hit the jackpot or something. A little bed here. I don't really care about the bed. I'll take the straw though, because I like the straw. No, it's my blade, isn't it? When I spin and strike, look. Ah, my blade, once I do a spinning strike, it has like electric coming off of it. I didn't even realise that my blade did that. I actually thought I like ran into a trap or something. But it was actually my blade all this time. Alright, now down this way. More stuff down this way. Oh look, and a little secret little wall thing. There's loads of little secret areas in this. I love how they've designed these like areas. It's so cool. There's like hidden things absolutely everywhere. I don't like these sacks on the walls. I'll take these sacks on the walls. That sounded a bit dodgy actually. Let's take these bottles and go through here and is there anything? Loo 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 loo. Oh hello. Hello skeleton. See he's got red clothes. Die skeleton. I don't want to fight you look. I've got two keys now. Oh three keys now. So there should be some more stuff. Why is there like plates next to the bed? They've been like eating midnight snack. <laughs> it's not good to eat when you're about to go to bed, you know. It's not good for you apparently. Look, there's a little room. Oh, I want to get in that room. How do I get in that room? Oh look, more stuff. I love all the little random items that are just like placed about. It's really cool. I like that we just got like a dressing table, some tables and like some... Oh look, another table there. And just like all these random furniture items that I don't think I can actually build. So it's a really nice surprise. I'm just trying to work out how to... Ah, there's a door here. Right. I would take the cell door as well actually. Yeah, that would be cool. Okay, so we've got some more things here to kill and a chest. So, oh, oh god, oh no, damn you, damn you, stupid monster, no, damn you, alright, I'll take that, I'll eat some milk, because calcium is good for the bones, and gives you 10% life, <laughs> I like how it does that actually, I like how milk gives you life back, okay, he is dead, and let's see what's in the chest, we got a ring of criticality, nice, yeah, that's pretty cool increases critical hit rate and we got some lights, a chest and this place is quite big actually, it's pretty big. I want to take that crockery because I'm not sure if I've ever picked up a piece of crockery before on this chapter so I'm going to go and have a look very quickly. Over here, let's grab that. Nope, nope, I haven't. That was my first piece of crockery. That's cool. Where do I go now? There's loads of straw there, but I'm not going to bother collecting that at the moment. I can't really be bothered to do it. So we need to find another doorway. I need to find another door. Okay, here we go. Found one. Let's unlock this one and see what's through here. See if we can get some more stuff. A table. I like the look of the table. Chair and some armour stand things, some banners, not that I really need the banners since there's like an entire area with banners but whatever, I'll take it anyway. Is there anything around here? More armor stands. I love all this stuff, it's so cool. So much furniture, I'm loving it, I am absolutely loving it. It's gonna make some really nice decoration for in our house. Ah, this was like the main area, oh look, nice, there's a book as well, let's read it, I'm not gonna destroy it. <laughs> The pages of the journal are covered in large, scratchy writing. Multi turns to the last entry. Why don't you start at the beginning? Whatever. Wherefore doth his majesty refuse us? This may be our last chance to turn the tables against the Dragon Lord's army. Okay. And yet, in his unfathomable foolishness, he doth refuse to take advantage of the powers we have unearthed. What powers is that? Tis ever the king's prerogative to give short shrift, sh sh shrift, shrift. What's shrift? I've not heard of that word before. So that he doth not understand. But by this ill-timed intransigence, 
I fear he hath dooms. What? The rest of the pages have been torn away so Multi can't read any further. Right, so basically they found something but they didn't know what it was so I guess the king refused to use it because they didn't know what it was. Like, that makes sense. That's quite sensible. <laughs> I would say so. I don't know how I'd feel about using something I just found, but I don't know. Could also be exciting at the same time. Depends what it is, really. Right, let me defeat this skeleton. Right, he is now down, and we got this to finish. Come on. And there's a nice little throne back there with some banners, so that's awesome. Right, this must be the thing. Multi hears an unsettling voice inside her head. Oh my god, we're hearing voices now. It gets worse. Oh god, what? Turn back! Turn back before it is too late! Oh god, sully not thy hands with this accursed item, lest thou be sorry. That makes me want to touch it even more. That makes me want it more. <laughs> even shouldest thou use its power to drive out the dragon lords, the curse will return upon thine head a thousandfold. Oh god, turn back, I prithee, turn back, turn back! Oh my god. The strange voice falls silent. When Multi comes to her senses, she finds a bizarrely shaped sword in her equipment bag. A sword of ruin. Why does it look bizarre? Let's see, what does it look like? Oh, okay. It's like got like a little axe bit on the top. An unwieldy weapon with a strange and sinister shape. It emits an ominous aura, so we must have the cursed shield and sword now. It's attack plus 50. Isn't it the same? It's literally exactly the same as the Sword of Kings, both of them, so I'm not sure whether I should equip them or not. I have no idea. Well, I'm going to loot the throne room, I'm going to loot the banners, and maybe, yeah, I'll loot the braziers as well. I'm going to take some of the carpet too, and then I guess we will go and see if we can do the slime quest. Never mind, there's a couple of flowers here, so what I'll do is I'll just grab these and we'll go straight to the slime, because the slime is literally just there, so we're really close to it. I did spend a little while like double checking around that small dungeon as well, because I actually have one more key left, and I thought I'd like missed the room or something, but no, I didn't find anything, so I'm guessing maybe not, I don't know, maybe it was just like a spare key or something, I don't really know. Anyway, I now have the the flower, so we should be able to continue with this quest, so that's cool. Where's my flower gone? There it is, I got it, I got it. Here you go, have a beautiful flower. It's as pretty as my potato face character. Goo wee! The petals are so white and the leaves are so green. This flower is really, really pretty. It sure is. I can only imagine how pretty the whole world oozed to look like when it was covered in them. <sighs> Aww. What did I get? I didn't look. Clouded memory. What the hell is a clouded memory? What do I do with that? Hello? <sighs> I wish this world would goo back to the way it was. Okay. What, what am I going to use that for? The tear-tinged recollections of a sad and dispirited slime. <laughs> that is so random. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. Right, I'm going to take this now because I guess we don't need it. Maybe then there's a slime on each of the... Because there's loads of these little slime things, right? So maybe there's a slime on each of them. That would make a lot of sense. I'm not really sure though. I'm pretty sure there was one through the teleportal but I'm not exactly sure where they all are. I can't really, I don't know. How many of these are there, do you think? There probably is a couple, right? Okay, I found another slime. This is through the teleport source. So this is my second one. I'm not sure if there's any more than this, but I'm gonna go and speak to the slime on the top. Looks like there's gonna definitely be a slime on each one. So that's really cool. Let's go and speak to him then. My granddad told me something, okay? He said this world used to be really bright and sunny. But what does sunny mean, human? Slurp. I, I can't get you the sun. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. I can get you that, but I, I can't get you the sun. I don't think we really have one here anyway. So if I plant this and then dig it up with a spade, should be able to do this straight away. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, uh, no, just do it properly, you silly potato-faced woman. Even I'm calling you potato-faced woman now. Okay, there we go. Use. Let's see what he does. Oh, is this what the sun looks like? 
It's so small, but it's really gorgeous. No, it's not. It's not what the sun looks like. <laughs> well, I guess a bit. I wish the whole world could be as sunny as this little flower, just like it used to be. <sighs> these little slimes are depressed as hell. Okay, so I got two of these things now. There must be more of these slime things, but I have no idea where they are. So, and if you guys know where they are and could let me know in the comments, that would be awesome. I would love you guys forever. Anyway, guys. I'm actually going to stop here for today. Hopefully when we play next time, hopefully I will have done the inside of the base. I'm hoping to completely change the layout of the like building, like of the base placements on the inside and finish the towers. Because when I did building last time that I played, I did some building, I just finished off like the decorations on this side of the base. Other than that, I didn't really do much. I started on the towers, but there's not really anything up there. I just did like a square and that was it. <laughs> so I haven't done much. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you next time. She, she stars. Didn't even get to